Greetings friends and welcome to the Shadow Clone Ability Guide. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make clones of yourself that will track your movements and do exactly what you do so that you can sort of use multiple abilities or attacks at once. Your clones will sort of fall in and copy exactly what you're doing and all that sort of thing. Sweet friends, I hope you enjoy this video, Naruto style. Kage bunshin no jutsu! Okay friends, so to begin with, I've just got a blank basic puppet, but I have added in a few things. The first thing is just a kunai throw ability. So, it's just four keyframes, they get into position, and then they sort of, when it gets to the point where their hand sort of flicks across, that's where I've placed an emitter. The emitter is set to 10 meters per second, it's emitting this object once, and the emitted object lifetime is 2.5 seconds. And now you're saying, oh, but where is this kunai you speak of? Well, because it's being emitted, it's currently invisible. So I'm going to go show and hide. Turn off preview invisibility. And now I can see my kunai. Not the, not the best kunai ever, but uh, yeah, it'll have to do for now. If we look into the kunai settings, what I've got here is it's on movable. So the movable setting is on. And it's also on ignore gravity. So that way the kunai will keep flying forward and it won't um, immediately sort of drop because of the old gravity. So we can turn preview and visibility on again. Now if I try out the move, I've just got a little kunai throw. Okay, sweet. So I just want to show that so I can demonstrate your clones um, sort of doing the same thing as you. Okay, cool. But now to get onto the actual clone part. So what we're going to do is actually just make a copy. Let's put on a grid snap and increase it to maybe one or two, whatever, whatever you prefer. And I've got a clone. Now, this clone is going to have the exact same stuff, so they've got the, the kunai throw ability and all that sort of thing, bound to R1. But the main difference between your main person and the clone has to do with the controller sensors. Your main dude is going to have, it's going to be possession mode possessable, and it's going to be on force possession. Next, we have our clone, and the clone is going to be remote controllable. And immediately now, friends, even before we get to the whole cloning thing, you'll see now they will move together in tandem. They will do the exact same stuff. If you use the ability, hiya, they'll both throw a kunai. Sha sha, sha sha, sha sha, sha sha. That's, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to getting characters to fight and sync. And now, just for the sort of shadow clone ability, uh, that's also going to be pretty simple. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another keyframe. I will be animating this one with you guys. I just thought the kunai throw I would skip so that you guys don't have to watch it. But this one I will go through with you. So let's just position this nicely. And it's really, you know, up to however you prefer to do these sorts of things. But I think I'll try and do it sort of Naruto styles. So I'll do a bit of a crowd. Now my, my dude doesn't have, sorry, I have to actually go into the group. Now my dude doesn't actually have fingers, so it'll be hard to show you know, the sort of specific fingery bits that they often are when it comes to Naruto stuff. Because you know how his, his sort of fingers are cross over each other. But I feel like so long as you can get the gist, and of course you're, you'll be using your own puppets for this, and I'm sure your, your own puppets will probably have some more interesting appendages. So yeah, this looks a this, it's a little bit simple, not exactly the right, uh, <laughs> not exactly the right um, hand position. I'm just gonna move the legs. I'm just gonna get it into position. Okay, cool. So our little ninja is here now. Wow. He gets into the position. Let's just make it, yeah, let's make it like pretty much one second. So it's... Okay, cool. And then once we get into that position, you can actually make it last a little bit longer. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Okay, cool. And then, basically what's going to happen is, shasha, they're going to the position, and then let's say about like halfway through, we're going to have two clouds appear. Now for the clouds, which is where the clones are going to appear, you can, um, 
you can use a, f a variety of things. For example, you could use fog. Um, but so we'll go into our fog. We'll make it white. We'll make the glow like pretty pretty high. Sorry, that was a little bit too high. Make the glow the glow pretty high, because when the glow is high, then the color becomes more sort of visible. Um, okay, cool. Th these other things you don't have to worry too much about. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna give this a quick check. So there we have a little cloud next to us, which is pretty cool. We can maybe have it for just a moment. Okay, that looks like a vibe. We'll have one there and then one on the other side. Just to make it uh, line up nicely, I'll put on a grid snap again. Move this one to the other side. Oh, I just want to check. Are they kind of equidistant? Let me just... Move it so that they are slightly. That looks pretty good, I would say. Okay, sweet. So it's going to go. Uh, dish. And when that happens, your little clones are going to appear. So, yeah. So now, now that we've got that, we've got little clones. And of course, with each of these little clouds, we're going to put an emitter. And the emitter is going to emit this clone dude over here. Um, however, what we might want to do quickly is actually just delete this guy quickly and copy this guy. We're going to copy this guy. And we'll delete all of these things, but we'll keep this keyframe so that when they sort of spawn, they're going to actually be in this position. Like it, like it is Naruto, you know what I mean? So it's not like he's going to be in the sort of the jitsu sort of stance and then the other guys are going to be kind of standing up normally they'll also be in that stance because of course the movement is sort of mimicked and yeah so that's what's going to happen as soon as they spawn they'll be in that position and sort of then return to the normal position if that makes sense so now that guy's looking cool we're going to go into our moves and output, get ourselves a, oh, that's a force supplier, sorry, we're going to want an emitter. The emitter is going to emit this guy. Oh, and sorry friends, remember, the key point with the clone is that you make them not force possession, but remote controllable. That's the one. So we're going to emit this guy. This guy over here. Emit speed will be zero. You're also going to make emit mode once. And then I think we'll make the, um, the like emitted object lifetime. That's up to you. Like you can make it 10 seconds. You can make it five seconds or whatever, or you can leave it as kind of like infinite and instead build in like a, a disappearance animation to your character. So you could make it that like, okay, cool. After five seconds, so let's go to our logic and processing. We'll go like, okay, cool. After five seconds, he's going to disappear. And what happens when he disappears? Well, there's going to be a nice little cloud. So we can actually just copy this fog over here. We'll line this fog up with where our clone's position is. Their sort of midpoint around their pelvis sort of region. And so it'll power that. And it will power a destroyer. Sweet. So let's just give a quick check. I'll just bind this to a key quickly. Let's make a triangle. I'm not too sure. Can be anything. So let's cha cha. Dish. Okay, let's see if he. Then he disappears, just like that. Okay, sweet friends. So I'm going to quickly make this slightly longer because let's just have a bit of a demonstration so we're in the same position but then the dude on the left gets up like a little bit quickly a little bit too quickly so that's fine i'll just extend it ever so slightly and let's try again a little bit soon again this is pretty much just nailing out all the little kinks that's pretty good, I would say. Cho-cho-ching. Good stuff. 
Another thing I'm going to change quickly is not on our clone, but on our original dude. I'm just going to move the position of the clone so that it lines up, whoops, so that it lines up with the midpoint of the cloud. So it's a little bit more hereabouts. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Maybe a little bit this way. Okay, sweet. And now, actually this emitter is linked to this fog. So now I'll make another emitter. And this will be on the other side of our character. And it'll line up with this fog over here. So now I will make it like so. Mm, you might want to put on a grid snap. Just to make sure that your characters line up nicely. Okay, cool. Probably like around there. And you're also going to go to this timeline and make playback mode once. Okay, friends. So we have our kudai throw. We have our, our shadow clone sort of technique. We've got the keyframe. Get into position. The clouds. And it spawns our clones over there. So let's try it out. So now we are cool. We run around together. And then they disappear after a short while. So yeah, friends, that's pretty much all there is to the Shadow Clone Jutsu, Kagebunshin no Jutsu. I make quick clones, and of course if we throw our kunai, we throw it all together. There's actually a bit of a nice, it gives me Star Wars vibes, <laughs> like going off the credits, rolling off into the distance. So, Kagebunshin no Jutsu! Stay tuned for the uh, Rasengan video, guys. <laughs> if, if you want me to make it, let me know. Okay, sweet friends. So thank you for sticking around for this one. Uh, it's actually a nice and simple one. You can, of course, make your clones last as long as you like. And yeah, friends, do whatever you whatever you fancy. Shosha, shoshing, shoshing. Yes, friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Shadow Clone Ability Guide. Thank you to my boy Kenny for suggesting it. Um, yes, friends, thank you for sticking around. And thank you always for your questions and your comments and your suggestions because it's really cool and really helpful. And it helps me to keep making new things every week. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank you so much, friends. I shall catch you on the flip-flop. Hey, thanks for watching, friends. I just want to give a massive shout-out to my Patreon patrons, or as I like to call them, the Mean Knights. Thank you so much, Tap Giles. Ooh, thanks so much, Tap Sensei. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And Salt Devils Max, my first patron. Ah, ye. Friends, if you want to support your boy and get access to some bonus content, consider becoming a patron. Thanks for watching, friends. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.